Hi, this is David Kettlewell, the host of mastersofharmonica.com, and we have a wonderful topic we're talking about today, which is bends, you know, taking a note down. And we're going to start with the one that I think is the first one you're going to want to really get under control, which is the draw bend. And of course, that means you're drawing air in, and that would sound like Now I took it down, I took it back up, but it's just down, you know. And you can do them fast or you can do them slow. How do you do that? Well, it's not too hard if you understand how to build the techniques, but I have a disclaimer, which is that there are things that you can learn really quickly, like hand vibrato. You can get that very quickly. A bend oftentimes takes a little bit longer to get under control. So if you don't get it right away, don't be critical of yourself. You know, you will get it, and it's a body memory thing. So just be patient. But let's go ahead with some of the techniques to get a draw bend. <clears throat> now, you've heard of like how an airplane wing is curved, you know, more on top and on the bottom because it creates a vacuum and that kind of lifts the wing. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lift. And, a bend is kind of similar because what you're doing is creating a small amount of vacuum with the air in your mouth, and that's creating the, the note to actually bend. And so, how do you do that? Well, it has to do with basically two things. Number one is the shape of your tongue, and number two is how you control your breath. So let me start with the tongue. Now. The tongue is a wonderful muscle, and it does a lot of things. If you try, it, if you try to talk without your tongue, uh, you, there, a tongue is so critical for creation of sound on the harmonica and voice. There's no way to really enunciate without your tongue. and There's, there's no way to do a bend without your tongue. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take, and you're going to take the, the tongue and you're going to fatten it and allow it to come up curvature wise close to the roof of your mouth. So, like that. So that there's a, a space and a gap between your tongue and the roof of your mouth, but it's not very big. So you kind of tense the tongue, go into a shape like this and up near the roof of your, of your mouth. And you might say, well, is there any way you can help me do that? Yeah, there is. Like, let's pretend we're a plane, you know? And, and you were like a kamikaze and you're going down on a, on a, on a ship in the ocean, you go ear, ear. that'd be the plane going down. That sound, when you create that, your tongue's in the right place. Okay, so we just covered this ear, sounding and that's your tongue that's kind of like tensed up near the roof of your mouth. The next thing we need to do is to control the airflow. Now, here is the larynx glottis. And your tongue in the back of your mouth, if you get it close to that area, you can go <laughs> It's like a hiss caused by your tongue tensing and blowing air past it. So you've got Now you put those two things together. That shape with And that is what the shape of the mouth is. So it's Now when you put the two together and you control that airflow, and I'm going to start with my tongue down and then I'm going to let it go up. So here's a clean note. Tongue started low in the mouth, went up to the roof, controlling the air here, and then I let it go back up. Let's do um, another one. And you can do them all over the harmonica. So, up to about the 11th hole. So, it's pretty simple. And you might say, Dave, do you got some exercises for us to help us? Yeah, I'd say let's just do some together. First of all, let's go. 
Can you make that noise for me? Let that tongue go up closer to the roof. Fatten the tongue. Now, that's controlling the gait here. Now, you're not going to make that sound when you, when you do the draws, okay? But that's the shape of the tongue. And then put the two together. Okay, so what we're going to do in our first little exercise here beyond those startup exercises is let's just try and get a teeny amount of bend on a note on a draw. That's a teeny amount of bend, just 1%. You know, so I got a little bit more. And you might say, got any other hints? Yeah, I do. When well, you're going to do a draw bend, <sighs> exhale, what I call preload. Now you can actually breathe in with some power for a while. So if you're going to be doing an exercise like this, you know, if it's going to be a draw, <sighs> exhale. Pretty simple. So, <sighs> and now you're ready to go. Orchestra players do this all the time. So you're going to kind of rebend and uh, or, or preload. So again, one exercise again is just for a very gentle. Now, as you get better, you can take it a little deeper because a bend can be down really low or very little. So let's do one that's kind of medium. That was a full half step. Okay, and of course there were microtones all the way through. You can actually go down about a, a tone to a tone and a half on every bend in this section of the harmonica. So the next thing to do would be to take it down and try and take it back up. It's not easy to do that under control. And so I want to share now a concept with you that I think will help you with all of the technical skills that you're trying to develop on your harmonica. It's called internalization. And it's like athletes that are runners and skaters and gymnasts go through this. Your mind gets it before your body does. And when you practice something like a bend, you're not going to have it. You're not going to have it and then boom, you'll kind of be able to do it. And once your body learns to do it, it won't lose it. But your body takes time. Like you're using your diaphragmatic muscles and you're probably not used to doing it this way. So it takes your body time to do that and time for you to get comfortable putting the mouth shapes, you know, the ear and the together at the same time. So it might take a few days. So you don't want to be like frustrated all the time and you're playing like, oh, I couldn't do that. Just understand, I'm going to give my body time to catch up. And if you're just calm and cool and you do like three minutes a day until you get it, life can be really pleasant instead of you getting upset with yourself, which that's not music. You know, this is about joy and love of music. So you want to be very kind to yourself and how you manage your own feelings. So internalization and understanding it. Be patient. Give your body time. And the cool part is pretty soon you're going to have those bends under control that are draws. So that is the draw bend. Hi, this is Dave Kettlewell, the host of MastersofHarmonica.com, and I'd like to welcome you to the next in our series on bends, which is the blow bend. What's kind of interesting is I've actually read some books that say that you cannot do a blow bend on a chromatic harmonica. That's actually not true. A, a blow bend is pretty much as easy to do as a draw bend. And so what I'm going to do in this particular video is walk you through the process of learning how to do a blow bend. So first, let's do a demonstration. What does a blow bend sound like? 